Hello everyone, a very happy new year once again to all of you, and here is Azinis for today with me, Vanessa. Portugal expresses its commitment to continue the cooperation with Timor-Leste. The Portuguese president, Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa, expresses his commitment during the interview with the GMN journalist at the gathering of the CPLP head of state for the inauguration ceremony of the newly elected Brazilian president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. And Portugal with Timor-Leste, whether in terms of joint projects in the economic field, in the field of infrastructures and basic investments, we can help make Timor-Leste a platform for European products and in particular Portuguese products, such as in scientific research and also in such matters like renewable energies and digital material. Apart from the cooperation in such specific areas based on the Timor-Leste needs, Portugal also committed to establish cooperation in agriculture and technology areas with Timor-Leste. At the same time, Marcelo Rebelo also offered the dinner state for head of state as well as the CPLP member states and their delegation, includes CPLP Executive Secretary Zacarias Albano da Costa from Timor-Leste. Angola and Timor Leste are ready to strengthen bilateral relations as the member of the community of Portuguese language countries. In his official visit to Brazil, President José Ramos Horta met with his counterpart, João Lourenço, the Angolan president, in the Royal Tulip Hotel, Brazil. During the meeting between both presidents, there was talk about bilateral relations and strengthening the cooperation between the community of Portuguese language countries or the CPLP state members. What I have to say to the Angolan president, Timor Leste, shortly, in 2023, 24, and 25, will be totally take part as an ASEAN member and also ask them to establish their embassy in Timor Leste. They have said that they will consider about it. In the same occasion, Horta also invited the Angolan president to visit Timor Leste in short term and establish the Angolan embassy in Timor Leste. The Timorese president had taken some chance to have met with newly elected Brazilian president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva at the Itamarachi Palace in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The regional comprehensive economic partnerships help promote regional economic growth and stabilize confidence of member states. An expert in an interview with China Global Television Network said the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership has made positive contributions towards the development of regional economy while boosting confidence of member countries against the backdrop of global headwinds. During the interview, Li Yong, chief researcher at the DNC think tank, summarized the achievements and results of promoting economic growth since the implementation of the RCEP, the world's largest trade deal. I think this is really uh, has been the first year that uh, the uh, a trade pact has been implemented uh, and uh, the immediate result that we can see is the uh, trade and investment cooperation and definitely the, 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 the deepened trade and investment cooperation will be translated into uh, the uh, economic growth. And in terms of trade, uh, as uh, you mentioned earlier, China has benefited uh, from the uh, trade pact and the other countries too. Li highlighted the role of RCEP in boosting trade volume and economic growth in the region. He noted that Thailand's trade with the rest of the RCEP member countries in the first nine months of the 2022 registered 10.1% growth. Meanwhile, Japan's exports of agriculture, forestry and fishery products registered a historic high. In terms of economic growth, Vietnam is hopefully going to register an over 8% of GDP growth, while Thailand is expected to register a growth of over 6%. He said that Malaysia also registered a GDP growth of 40% in the third quarter of last year. RCEP took effect in Indonesia, which is expected to benefit Indonesia's infrastructure and regional economic growth, although some lawmakers have expressed concerns that this could have an impact on local businesses. Exactly. I think, you know, um, uh, all the countries actually have done their own studies 
uh, in terms of the pros and cons of uh, you know being a part of RCEP and uh, Indonesia took about a year you know to rect to ratify the uh, the trade pact and obviously uh, this is a strong commitment uh, by Indonesia to the multilateralism in the region uh, but also a result of the uh, uh, of the cost and benefit analysis the International Monetary Fund forecast global economic growth to be 3.2% in 2022 and growth in the Asia-Pacific to be 4%. RCEP entered into force on January 1st, 2022. For 10 original parties are Australia, New Zealand, Brunei Darussalam, Cambodia, China, Japan, Laos, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. Airport kills after power outage forces Philippines to suspend flights. Philippine authorities halted flights in and out of Manila due to a malfunction of air traffic control which also prevented airlines bound to other destinations from using the country's airspace. Video footage showed large crowds and long queues forming all over the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in the Philippine capital after confused travelers had their flights cancelled. There were 361 flights either delayed, cancelled, or diverted to other regional airports, affecting about 65,000 passengers, while numerous other flights were forced to reroute to avoid Philippine airspace. The Ninoy Aquino International Airport has previously been ranked among the world's worst international gateways, with flight delays a regular occurrence and a history of upgrades being delayed or abandoned due to disputes between the airport and contractors. Vietnamese rescuers working, rescuing boy who fell into concrete pit. Local media reported rescuers in Vietnam were working to save a 10-year-old boy who fell into a deep hole at the construction site. Footage from the VTV showed Tally Hao Nam on CCTV footage walking inside the construction area before falling into a concrete pit. They say it was 35 meters or 115 feet deep and only 25 centimeters wide. VTV said rescuers were digging 35 meters deep around the concrete pit to reach the boy. The space was so tight that even a rope would not fit around him. Video showed authorities pumping oxygen to the boy via a small hose and heavy machinery digging around the hole. According to the local media, the boy's condition was reported to be stable. Philippines president met with Chinese president to talk about South China Sea. Good to see you. His Excellency uh, Wang Xilian, Ahead of his three-day state visit to Beijing, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. reiterated his election campaign promise to shift to a higher gear his country's ties with China. Xi, as we work towards... Speaking to his cabinet members before his flight, Marcos said he looked forward to his second face-to-face -face meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The issues between our two countries are problems that do not belong between two friends such as Philippines and China. According to a Philippine official, a deal is expected to be signed during Marcos' visit, which allows Manila to formalize a chain of direct communication with China to avoid miscalculation and miscommunication in the disputed South China Sea. The Asian neighbors are longtime rivals in the South China Sea, a strategic waterway through which billions of dollars worth of goods pass each year. China claims most of it despite an international arbitration ruling invalidating that claim in 2016. Philippine President expect new chapter in cooperation with China. Philippine President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. hopes the visit to China will open new chapter in bilateral cooperation. As I leave for Beijing, I will be opening a new chapter in our comprehensive strategic cooperation with China. We will speak we will seek to, to foster a meaningful relation and broaden our cooperation in various areas, such as agriculture, energy, infrastructure, science and technology, trade and investment, and people-to-people -people exchanges, amongst others. I look forward to my meeting with President Xi as we work towards shifting the trajectory of our relations to a higher gear that would hopefully bring numerous prospects and abundant opportunities for the peace and development to the peoples of both our countries. I will invite our Chinese neighbors to once again 
returned to the Philippines as tourists, as students, investors. Aside from sharing the wonders of our archipelago with our Chinese friends, I shall push for the resumption of tourism and cultural cooperation between our two countries. The Philippine president shared his expectations for the visit at the press briefing in Pasay City. The president also hopes that his visit will help promote cultural cooperation between two nations. His first visit to China is official visit to a non-ASEAN country since assumed the presidency in June 2022. Chinese ambassador to the Philippines, Huang Xilian, believes that Marcos' visit to China will carry on the friendship, expand practical cooperation, and enhance mutual understanding and trust. China mutually implements RCEP agreements with Indonesia. China is mutually implementing the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership with Indonesia following the RCEP took effect for Indonesia. Under the RCEP and on the basis of the agreements under the China and ASEAN Free Trade Area, Indonesia has granted zero tariff treatment to over 700 additional Chinese products including some auto parts, motorcycles, television sets, clothing, shoes, plastic products, luggage and chemical products. <laughs> According to China's Ministry of Commerce, some products immediately enjoyed zero tariffs and other products will be gradually moved to zero tariffs within an agreed transition period. China will also cut tax for made in Indonesian pineapple juice and pineapple cans, coconut juice, pepper, diesel, paper products, some chemicals and auto parts on the basis of the agreements under the China ASEAN Free Trade Area in an effort to further open the market. Agreements under the RCEP have already benefited foreign trade enterprises, while the regional industrial development is also welcoming new opportunities. The RCEP also brings new opportunities to an Indonesian paper company in China. Myanmar's military hall parade to celebrate the 75th of the Independence Day. <laughs> Myanmar's junta held a parade to celebrate the country's 75th Independence Day in the capital Napidiao amid conflict with opposition groups across the country. Myanmar's junta chief Ming Oleng accused some countries of trying to intervene in his country's affairs while thanking others, including India and China, for their cooperation. While street protests are now rare, after bloody crackdowns, the military is involved in almost daily clashes with minority ethnic forces and insecurity has spread to swaths of the country as members of a so-called People's Defense Force have taken up arms to fight for a return to democracy. The Southeast Asian country has faced international isolation and Western-led sanctions since the military seized power from a democratically elected government led by Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi nearly two years ago. Well, thank you. We hope you enjoyed the beginning of this new year with hopes, dreams and goals to be fulfilled and having a prosperous life as well. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a lovely weekend.